Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, I'm Ko. Thanks for stopping by. Um, today I am doing something I haven't done before, um, so I'm excited. I know that these videos are usually pretty popular on YouTube. I know I spend like sometimes like hours watching them for no reason and then I forget what I even started doing on YouTube. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe you came from a, a loop where you just fell in, you know, into the deep depths of YouTube haul videos and now you're here. So sorry, but you're welcome as well. Um, <laughs> uh, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see more hauls in the future. Um, or if you have other ideas for videos that you'd really like to see, um, I'd appreciate input as well. Um, I usually put out a beauty video on Sundays at 10 a.m. And then more lifestyle haul. I'm gonna start vlogging at some point. <laughs> uh, those videos, uh, like the lifestyle vlog type ones, and like this one, as you see here, go up on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. So again, if you like it, give me a thumbs up and let me know how you feel. And if you have ideas or things that you'd like to see in the future, again, let me know. And we'll just jump right into this. Um, I have notes on how much everything retails for. Um, however, I did purchase these pretty much every single one of them was on sale when I purchased them So I will let you know that as well um, Yeah, so we'll just get into it um, The first thing that I purchased um, and that it's not wrapped anymore because I did use it today in a video that went up this previous Sunday um, but that is the L'Oreal telescopic mascara and I purchased it in blackest black shade 910 um, this retails for $9.99 and honestly I I don't really know how I feel yet first impressions were not too great but um, I'm gonna continue to use it and see what happens in the future but first things right off the bat is that it is a super thin wand, which is fine. I like that for precision for like lower lashes and things. Um, but this wand is so flimsy and like the hole to put it back in is so small that you're like bending it and it's, I don't know, it just seems like very cheaply built, which I don't expect that much from a drugstore brand. Um, but this did have really good reviews on Ulta, so I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, it feels very heavy on my lashes. Um, I don't know if I use too much or, I mean, I only did like one coat, so it can't be too much. Uh, so yeah, first impressions are not so great, but like I said, I'm gonna continue to, to use this and um, we'll see what I think later on. But I don't wanna discount it completely yet. Um, next thing that I got, um, just restocking on the Garnier Micellar Water, Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the blue, so this is for all skin types, even sensitive. I do have a little bit of sensitivity to other micellar waters. Um, I've used like the regular ones from Garnier and those were a little bit irritating, but I have no issues with this one at all. And I love this product. Um, I only use it on my eyes, so I don't use it like on my whole face like some people do. I'll generally wash my face um, because the soap that I use at night for makeup removal pretty much gets everything off except maybe like waterproof mascara and that's where this bad boy comes in. So I do really like it and I have been repurchasing this. I think this might be my third repurchase and this retails for about $8.99 and this is a 13.5 fluid ounce bottle. And like I said, because I don't use this all over my face, I just use it on my eyes um, for like stubborn makeup removal. This will last me like six to eight months. So $8.99 is worth it. It's like a dollar a month basically. Um, what else did I get? Oh, so I got this Hydro Boost um, gel cream for extra dry skin. Um, I was looking for a new um, face lotion for nighttime because I ran out of um, when I was using the Lumine Velo um, it's like a Nordic brand so I decided because I like Neutrogena products 
um, they don't irritate my skin and this does have hyaluronic acid in it which is really great um, it's something your skin naturally produces so being able to add a little bit extra is fine it's nice um, so I used this last night and first impressions are that I really like it um, it doesn't really have a scent it just smells clean I guess um, yeah so this is for extra dry skin because it is the winter and I live in Buffalo it is dry constantly so I need a little bit of extra moisture especially at, when I go to bed at night um, so this is perfect yeah I'm just gonna rambling on about this uh, but this retails for $19.99 but I did get this on sale um, I want to say it was like maybe like 12 or 13 when I purchased it I don't quite remember but it was not $19.99 when I purchased it um, the other thing that I decided to get was um, Ulta was running a sale like half price on the Tarte Maracuja oil and because I don't I've used an oil in the past and it was like horrible it just sat on my skin and made me feel disgusting um, but I've heard really good things about the Tarte Maracuja oil um, I decided to go ahead and order the travel size so it is what does it say it is just half of a fluid ounce uh, but it was or retails regularly for $16 but I did get it for eight um, I just wanted to try it and see how I liked it um, again I used this last night so I used a little bit of the oil and then I followed it up with the Neutrogena um, Hydra Boost gel cream and first impressions are that I, I like it it absorbed well into my skin it didn't sit on top and make me feel greasy um, it is a nice smell it's very like nutty almost so just be aware of that if you're sensitive to like strong smells this it, I mean it's natural but it is like a pretty strong smell um, but so far I like it so we're gonna see how that goes and I know some people do also use this like to like before their makeup so I don't know if I will because I don't know how oily it'll make me once everything's sitting on top of my skin but I'm gonna try it um, next thing I purchased is again a restock this is the Mario Badescu acne facial cleanser um, if you watched my recent skincare routine video I talked about how I've been using this for quite a long time and it is like this is the best thing I've ever used on my face honestly so um, it keeps breakouts at bay it removes makeup it's a very gentle cleanser I do have pretty sensitive skin um, and I have combination skin so in the summer I'm pretty oily and then in the winter I'm very dry and this like I can use this year-round with no issues so um, I repurchased it it retails for $15 and I did purchase it at that price um, so yeah I do rec recommend this product and I did order another Mario Badescu product. Um, I love their facial sprays. And again, if you watched that skincare video, you'll know that I love the um, facial sprays. And I think I also talked about it in my favorite things video, or things that I can't live without video. Um, I pretty I keep pretty much every like one of every single scent. And they came out with a new scent, and I think it's exclusive to Ulta, but it is aloe sage and orange blossom and um this smells so good seriously oh it smells so good i love these products like they just smell amazing they make your skin feel really great um i use the lavender and chamomile one every night before bed and it just like it's a nice refresher for your skin and then if I'm feeling a little dry throughout the day or just feeling like I need a little pick-me-up, just use some of this and it's amazing. Um, because it was a scent I had never tried before, I did just go ahead and get the travel size, which is two fluid ounces. And this travel size retails for $5. I think the largest, let me see, I have one actually right by my bed. Um, the eight fluid ounce one, I think this one retails, actually, let me look it up for you. Yeah, so the 8 fluid ounce only retails for $12, 
And then they also have a four ounce bottle as well that is seven dollars and then um, some of the scents they do have these travel sizes for five dollars which is super nice because obviously it is travel size so you can take it wherever you go um, I know some people do like to keep these in their purse but in the summer sometimes I do like to have one in my car because that is super nice um, the last thing that I purchased actually um, I was in the market for some more shampoo and conditioner. I was using just like a drugstore Dove and it was good, but my hair has been really dry and just not, just hasn't felt super healthy since the summer. I was putting some bleach in it. I cut pretty much all of that out, but it was still pretty damaged. And I do dye my hair because I do have a lot of gray hair. Um, so I do dye my hair pretty regularly as well. So I needed to get something that was both color safe and then also um, helps to restore your hair back to like its natural luster. Um, and so I ended up going ahead and purchasing two full sized, it is Bedhead by Tiji and it is the Urban Antidotes Resurrection. So these are for um, damaged hair that says, perfect for weak brittle hair that needs an intervention. Yeah, so it's great for damaged hair. And I did pick up two full-size products of this. These are both 25.36 fluid ounces. These generally retail um, for $29.99, which I could never justify spending $30 on a shampoo and $30 on a conditioner. Like, that seems crazy to me, but Ulta was having an insane sale on these and I ended up picking up these for $12.99 each. And that was a lot more um, acceptable. Plus these are huge bottles and these will last a long time. I only wash my hair like two or three times a week and I don't use that much product since my hair is pretty short right now. So these will last, I'm guessing probably, probably like eight to nine months for me honestly and guys these smells these smell so good like i honestly cannot wait to wash my hair and i really feel like i want to just wash my hair more and they probably won't last as long as i think they will but um yeah i'm super excited about these um so yeah that is everything that i picked up from ulta this time around um i know that i definitely forgot some things um I'm probably gonna have to do another order here in the next. I'm hoping like I can hold out for a while. But yeah, again, if you like these kinds of videos and you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And before you leave, make sure to subscribe to my channel. New beauty content on Sundays and lifestyle vlog type videos on Wednesdays as well. And if you have ideas and things that you like to see on YouTube, leave them in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. But yeah, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.